The technology of the digital age has put remnants of an ancient world back together. These busts of a man and a woman were carved to commemorate their deaths nearly 2,000 years ago. For centuries they were kept in a Syrian museum, but they arrived here in Rome in a box and in pieces recovered from the destruction wrought by the so-called Islamic State. It was agony for me to see the fragments on the ground destroyed with such brutality, but when I was given the job of restoring the figures, I was very happy to take part in cancelling out this violence. The couple in the statues lived their lives in Palmyra, an oasis in the deserts of central Syria, a rich trading post in what was then part of the Roman Empire. Syria's modern war has come to this archaeological treasure and an ideology which does not allow the human form to be depicted in art has resulted in vandalism with extremists taking hammers to history. Palmyra has changed hands several times during the fighting. The last time IS were driven out, Syrian officials collected fragments of the statues and sent them to be saved by the experts in Italy. But the effort to preserve an idea of what ancient Palmyra looked like is an international one and 3D printing is playing an ever greater role. By using these three-dimensional techniques, produce copies of objects or contribute to the repair of objects in a way that is more rapid, uh, more accurate and potentially actually involves communities, I think is very important. The restorers in Rome say their work is a tribute to Khaled al-Assad, the curator in Palmyra who was murdered by IS because he wouldn't tell them where he'd hidden some of the artefacts. The extremists have now retaken the town, so the fight to save Palmyra's treasures may well be lost. The man and the woman whose faces have returned will be part of what little is left. Geraint Vincent, News at 10.